Okay, we got a Jeep Cherokee. It's a 1996, and a customer complaint is the crank no start. Uh, let's start off, but let's just watch this dash here. All right, notice we got no RPM bouncing and no bulb check. So check engine light isn't coming on when you turn the key on, which it should do for a few seconds. All right, so. The customer brought it in thinking he might need a fuel pump and it does and we've already looked at it it doesn't have fuel pressure but uh it also doesn't have spark and it doesn't have injector control so uh the customer if he'd have thrown a fuel pump in it he'd have been wrong so it's a good thing he brought it in here all right so the first thing i wanted to do is check the uh five volt reference uh, easy spot to check that at is over here at the throttle position sensor can't hardly see with the glare all right right here so let's just unplug that all right you got three pins I'm gonna try to put my power probe in the way here okay there's the power probe let's see if we can do it that way all right so we got that's the ground got nothing there we got nothing there so we do not have a five volt reference circuit okay one of those should have been five volts so that tells me that i'm getting no five volt reference out of the computer i can stop right there and let's check the computer all right i've already eased these back when you uh want to check the computer on this thing it's right here on the firewall you need to take the connectors off and get these out of the way so that you can get and back probe the wires, okay? Um, first thing we're gonna do is check the powers. Here we go, we got this red one right here. Let me get the meter in the way so you can see it. Can you see that? This might not all fit into the same camera angle. All right. Got good power there. All right, the other one is number 22, which it's hard to see, but it's the blue one, or no, this was 22. The red one was 22. The blue one underneath on the same connector, let me get you in the frame here. I can't find, there you go. All right, if you look, Underneath the red, there's a blue with a red stripe, and then underneath that blue with a red stripe, there's a solid blue. That's what I'm trying to get to. Uh, right there. Back probe, get it in there. Says it's done, folks. All right, we're finally in there. <laughs> Sometimes these back probes don't work all so great. All right, 11.6, that'll work. So one of those is key on power, and one of those is battery power. The next thing we need to do is check our grounds. You got two grounds right here. It's the tan and black ones right here and right here. So back probe. All right, there's a ground. Now, do we know that's a good ground? No, we don't because the power probe will mess you up. So Here's a little trick. This is a headlight bulb. I've got a little shield around it, but it's a headlight bulb. What we're going to do is hook this in series with the power probe so that we can actually load this circuit. I know there's another tool out there called the load pro and that's cool if you have that but I didn't see the point in buying another tool when I can just make the power probe do what I want it to do so all right I've got the power probe hooked in 
to my headlamp and then my back probe, right? So I still have a good ground, even though I've got a headlight bulb now wired in series with it. That's, you know, right there, the resistance of, of that headlamp bulb should have made the power probe, I don't know, maybe just tell you you've got some type of resistance on the circuit. But anyway, now I can use the power probe as a power source to check this ground with the light. So, woohoo, we've got enough to, we've got enough ground on that circuit to turn that light on. That's plenty of ground for the computer. So now we're gonna do the other one. Same deal. That's the other one right next to it. I'm gonna drop my little headlight. There's your headlight. Pow. All right, good to go. So now we've checked powers and grounds on the computer. Okay, so the only other thing that I would suggest that you check, maybe your powers and grounds are good and you want to figure out why your 5 volt reference isn't working, you could do that too. You got a 5 volt reference right here in the orange, which we have none. Nothing. Nada. Alright, there's that there's that 0.6 reading we saw out there at the throttle position sensor. And then there's another one, the violet and white is also another 5 volt reference you could check. And same thing, all we have is that 0.6. This computer is toast. It's doing nothing. All right guys, I'll get back to you when I put the new one in. Okay, so got the new computer installed. I haven't bolted it down yet, I just plugged it in. Let's check, got the key on. Let's check the same thing. Let's just look for that five volt reference. It's a lot easier to get to the TPS than mess with other things. I can not even see the camera right now. Okay, here we go. And get that closer. Sorry for the angles, guys. I'm trying to do this with an iPhone. All right, can you see you both? And I'm gonna plug it right here. And there's your five volt reference. We have gotten our 5 volt reference back, so that's making us pretty confident that this thing will fire up. Let's move things out of the way, make sure nothing's full. Here's our old computer. Move that. And actually, I need to move a few more things before I try to fire this thing up. One second, guys. Okay, we're back in here. Key on, check. Hey, look, there's a check engine light we didn't have before. Hooray, it runs. Ew. It's got a belt squeal. Huh? Well, they didn't ask us about that. Anyway, I uh, hope that guy helped you guys diagnose a PCM on a Jeep. Uh, didn't seem like there was a whole lot out there on YouTube for actually checking the powers and grounds. So I uh, really hope you appreciate a little bit of a you know shaky video to help you out there. Oh, it looks like I got a check engine light on. Well, we'll have to see if he wants us to diagnose that. Okay, anyway, um, if you like it, please hit, you know, the like button and the subscribe and all that stuff. You know, you know how YouTube works. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.